Good morning, SoFlo. Welcome to the show. This month, we have been celebrating the tremendous accomplishments and contributions of women everywhere. And our first guest for over 50 years has shown just how powerful, talented, and remarkable women are with iconic roles on TV and film. And she joins us today to talk about her new memoir. It's my pleasure to welcome to Inside South Florida, Sharon Glass. Good morning. Good morning, Jason. Sharon, this book, apparently there were complaints, a memoir by Sharon Glass. <laughs> When did you decide that you wanted to write a memoir? Well, I really never wanted to write a memoir, but um, I was finishing a burn notice, a series I'd done here in Miami, and CBS found out that it was about to end, and they called me in to meet me, I thought, to offer me a series, right? Um, so there's my ego. And I was there for an hour, and um, being asked all the right questions, the president of CBS in her office, and um, at the end of the hour, she said, you know, Sharon, CBS owns Simon & Schuster. I said, I didn't know that, Nina. She said, well, we do, and I think you have a book in you. I said, well, Nina, I'm, I'm, I'm not a writer. I've never written. She said, no, but you're a storyteller. And I said, she said, I'm going to have the president of Simon & Schuster call you. And he did. And I waited a year. <clears throat> Next time I went to New York, I, I Edit. And I took a, a paragraph I'd written and my manager said, read it to him. No, but I did. And he gave me a book deal. In, in your career, Sharon, you have played these roles that now we see them as trailblazing. And they were then, of course, but now we know better, right? Cagney and Lacey, um, Debbie Novotny, who to me, and I'm sure a lot of our LGBTQ plus viewers was the best friend, the mom, and the protector that we all wanted in real life. That role in Queer as Folk for so many of us was like a comforting blanket because we, a lot of us didn't have that in our life. So thank you for that. Looking back on Please, your Please, I went, I went after that role, Jason. You went after that role? I went after that role. I've never gone after a role before or since. But that one, when someone sneaked me the script, Queer as Folk, I thought, I yeah. want part. I want to be part of this. Why? And it, not because of me, but the, the show just changed lives. You know, we saved lives. The gay community had never been represented, honestly, right. on television, maybe as a comedy, but never seriously. And um, I used to get letters from people saying my best friend didn't get to see the show and he's gone now. Right. And he said, I saw it and I'm still here. And thank you. And I can't take credit for it, Jason. I did not write it. Or nothing mm -hmm. without the writers. But I was very lucky to get that stellar role. I think it's a testament to, to the spirit on top of the talent that you have. When you look back on your career, on your career and your life, Sharon, what do you say? I say, thank you, God. Um, I've been so blessed. And I'm not just, this is just not rhetoric for me. Um, the shows I've been given, I mean, it started with Cagney and Lacey. Sure. Which also, which also changed lives. Right. I'm sure Tyne Daly and I, who played Lacey, um, we had no idea the power we had. There was a lot of controversy around the show. Uh, we were told that certain affiliate stations refused to air Cagney and Lacey because the subject matters were just too daring. I, I met an actress whose name, forgive me, I can't remember, but she played a female cop after I did. And she met me in a, in a restaurant and she came and sat down on the floor next to me, next to my booth. And she said, you paved the streets on which I walk. Wow. And I'm going, wow. And I wasn't drinking then, so I, you know, I was head on. And I <laughs> thought, gee, I guess, I guess we did. She was referring for other actresses. But, but um, I guess we did. Well, Sharon, apparently there were complaints, but I have to tell you, and I can um, speak to everyone who loves and adores you and the work you've done. I don't think we have any complaints at all. Oh, bless you, Jason. We are so grateful for you. The book is apparently there were complaints. The author is the Emmy Award winning, Golden Globe winning Hollywood actress, force, legend that is Sharon Gless, this is a page turner. And as I said earlier, we are so grateful for you and the work you've done, Sharon. Thank you, Chase.